everyone! So how's everyone doing? I hope you're all well. So quick note, I actually filmed and edited this like a while back so you're gonna see subtitles throughout, just ignore them or you can read them if you want. So this video is gonna be about burnt sienna and comparing all the burnt siennas that I have. Um, a viewer requested this so thank you for requesting. If you guys have ideas just put them down below. I'll try to get to them if I can and if a lot of people like them then I'll move them up. Okay so the first one's Rembrandt. Um, this one I have in a tube and I've used it in a pan before. So the pan ones are slightly harder to re-wet. I find that the ones from tubes when you dry down the tube paints, they actually re-wet much more easier than the ones that come in pans. Anyway, um, Sennelier as well. Uh, no, no, not, not that I have had their pan paints. I've used Sennelier extensively and they actually dry down despite having honey. If you let them just sit there and dry and cure, themselves long enough they actually do dry down and even crack so it really depends um, both of them look quite orangey like a normal burnt sienna nothing much um, I'm probably gonna compare them all in the end because you can't really see anything right now oh Windsor and Newton it doesn't seem to reactivate as easily as the others and it has this like glow you know like like the transparent red oxide glow I don't know why it just doesn't feel earthy probably because of the PR 101 I don't know we'll see we'll continue okay close-ups that granulation The so Nellie is nice. It, it's a bit transparent for me, but yeah, it, it's okay. Windsor and Newton. I probably have to play with Windsor and Newton more to give you a fair um, account of it, but so far that's how I feel about it right now. Okay, this one's Daniel Smith, just dropping in some water to activate it, giving everyone a fair shot. This one's also the Roman small. Roman small? Small? Oh, this one's Da Vinci. Okay, Da Vinci goes on smooth. I do feel like it's much more red leaning than the ones above, which I'll pan back in a bit. Which burnt sienna do you guys use? Are any of them like out of these six? Or do you use a completely different burnt sienna? Are you looking for a new burnt sienna? Daniel Smith's is like much more red in its undertone. Roman Small's Burnt Sienna seems like it's leaning more towards um, Burnt Sienna, sorry, uh, towards Burnt Umber, like it has a little bit more blue in it, you know what I mean? Beautiful granulation. Okay, well there, I'm saying it right there. Daniel Smith has more of a pinky undertone and then the Da Vinci is like the second one down. Windsor Newton's is glowy. Roman Small is starting to lean towards umber. 
I spelled towards wrong. I'm sorry. Sennelier and Rembrandt seem to be the most orange leaning and Rembrandt is just the most like with a yellow undertone. Personally, I think I'm, I mean, at this point, I'm okay with any of the Siennas, but I prefer Roman Small for its granulation, but I, I think I like Daniel Smith for its hue. So, have you painted with any of these burnt siennas? Let me know down below which brand you're currently using. Thank you for watching everyone! Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated!